As 10 TV's Kevin Landers explains right now, this could be an uphill battle for this angry neighbor. Now this is our home. This is where I raised our children. For 30 years, Kurt Paulus says he's lived in this tranquil part of Liberty Township. Here, chirping birds and barn owls are frequent contributors to this wooded enclave of homes. But this is the sound he says he hears now. He says it's coming from his neighbor. Paula says this sound monitor captured the noise from his bedroom window. It's very disturbing. You lose sleep. Uh, you know, they can start these up at any time, and they have. Um, lately, it's been, uh, when they've started them up, it's been um, about 4.30 in the morning. Paulus, who was an engineer, began tracking when the generators turn on, the decibel levels, and hoped to show them to city. But when talks failed, he filed this lawsuit, calling the company a public nuisance and is demanding city silence its generators. The company tells 10TV, quote, We value the input of our neighbors. We will continue to comply with all laws and regulations and to operate within governmentally approved noise emission standards. Paulus lives 1,500 feet from this data center. He says while doing research about generator noise, he learns something even more frustrating, and it has to do with Ohio law. My dog can go out here and bark, city can complain, call the sheriff, but I have no recourse when they set these generators off. The reason, he says, is that under Ohio law, townships have no power over commercial or industrial zone property when it comes to noise. Only residential structures or businesses with a liquor license. He hopes his dispute will change Ohio law and protect homeowners who want to enjoy the sounds of nature, not roars of machines. I'll guarantee you that if the CEO of city lived here, that wouldn't be happening. In Delaware County, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.